Hi, my name's Marisha and welcome to my channel. I'm recording this on my mobile phone rather than my laptop because my laptop is driving me nuts and takes half an hour to start up and I don't have time. Um, so the quality will probably look different. We'll see how it goes. It might run out before I'm finished. I've done my base already. Um, so I'm mostly just going to be doing my eyes. Let's see, I mean, it's, the lighting in here is not bad. This is what we've got. This is what we've got at the moment. We've got base down, we've got eyebrows, uh, we've got some blush. So let's go in with the eyeshadows. Now I'm going to be using the Androgyny palette by Jeffree Star. It's this one here. Um, and maybe a touch of another palette, but I'll let you know if I decide to or not. Um, the Androgyny palette is um, it's a lot of mattes, uh, there's a lot of sort of darker colours. Um, I really like it. But I do quite often feel I have to add a little bit of something else extra into it. Just let me spread my brushes out. I can't find what I'm looking for. Right. So let's go in with Androgyny itself because I'm thinking of wearing the, the lipstick too. And let me grab my hand mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing. I am travelling into Glasgow today uh, to go and have lunch with my great aunt uh, who we haven't seen for quite a while because of lockdown so this will be the first time we've seen her since before lockdown. We will of course be going to a garden centre for lunch because that is where we always go. That's what you do once you get old, you have lunch at garden centres. Not that I'm saying I'm old but old enough to spend a lot of time at garden centres. I never really plan my eye looks ahead because I'm not, I'm, I just don't know enough about what I want to achieve and what I can achieve to know how to plan an eyeshadow look. So I do tend to just wing it a bit and hope that it turns out all right. And it mostly does, but I, th I think one of the things that I regret is that it does tend to mean I could do this kind of same style shape of eye, eye makeup all the time because because that's what I'm used to doing. I kind of know my way around that sort of shape. Um, it would be nice to get into something more experimental, but I would really think I'd really need to think about it before I did it. And I have not yet managed to do that. I'm not, I'm not a big planner. I'm definitely someone who just wings it. I've got to admit, I think the, the camera on my laptop is a lot better for this than this one. I can also do with being closer to this. I, I'm pretty sure I have a tripod for my uh, mobile phone, but I have no idea what I've done with it. So let's see, what are we going to go in with now? So I think I will use, I've got the, this is a lethal palette. Um, Lethal Cosmetics, but it's not, it, they do a make your own palette. So somebody, I bought this on eBay, I bought both of these eyeshadows on eBay. Um, somebody has bought themselves a custom palette on Lethal and then decided they don't want it anymore and they've sold it on eBay. So it's, they would have bought the individual eyeshadows, which I think are about £5 each. And I'm going to go in with this pale yellow, I think. Here. I got to use a little bit of eyeshadow primer today because I, I I bought some MAC eye primer second hand from eBay. Um, I haven't quite got the hang of it yet. I only put very little bit on because I, that's the, I thought it's better to use a small amount and build up sort of thing. Um, but it's seeming it's seeming quite nice. I'm, I'm, I am liking the, the effect that it's created. I 
I'm not great at being precise with eyeshadow and I don't know if that's the brushes that I use. I think I probably use brushes that are slightly too big. Um, and so for, and so I can't kind of get in and get detailed the way other people seem to be able to do. The problem is that my favourite brushes of the ones I've got, the ones that I, I enjoy using the most, um, are all quite large. Whereas my smaller brushes are all mostly or less, not as good quality. Looking a little patchy on this eye. Yeah, it totally doesn't show on the camera. <laughs> I mean, literally, my laptop is still starting up. I tried to start my laptop up like half an hour ago. It's a Microsoft Surface, and I loved it when I got it. And I do still love it once it started up, but there seems to be some sort of problem with them that they don't know. They get they, they get hung up on their starting, and they just take forever. It's got, it's got, it's got a funny wee dark patch here. I'm not sure why, but it's not wanting to blend out maybe a wee dry patch on my skin but it's right in the crease so it's not sticking out too much let's get a little bit of shimmer on here I think um, gold shimmer bronze shimmer let's stick with the androgyny palette for now I'll put the deja vu shimmer in It's funny, I mean, the morning is the best time for me to record these because this room gets the best light in the morning. But I don't think I'm a particularly talkative person in the morning. It, you know, like, no, I'm not I'm not, not a morning person, but I'm not exactly... I mean, I quite often get up, have breakfast, and then go back to bed for a bit. Because just, I don't know, I quite often feel quite tired in the mornings. I'm not sure about this yellow. It's quite dull. Maybe need to, I'm going to put some of the gold, some gold over it. I've got a gold lethal cosmetics gold shimmer as well as the yellow. I'll maybe put some of that into it. See if we can. This eye just seems to be a bit patchy today. You totally can't see a thing on this, can you? I'd have to be like here, and even then the light is just blowing it out way too much. It's not focused. Focus is there, so I'd want my head to be about here in order for you to actually see what I'm doing at all. That's really uncomfortable. Let's go in on the bottom line. Yeah, it's just not going terribly well this morning. Brushes, brushes, brushes. I don't know whether I'm coming or going with them half the time. Um, yeah, I would have liked to look like nice just because I'm going somewhere and I don't get to go somewhere very often anymore these days, but I, um, I think looking nice is not going to be something that is particularly happening to you. Hello, dog, darling. looking a bit better but all in all I'm not massively 
happy with that. What do I have eyeliner wise? Going in with that same li liquid liner I used yesterday. Set out in. Pretty go to for me. Um, that didn't really go on very nicely either. I'm just not having a good makeup day. kind of gone on in a big clumpy blob rather than actually nicely. Let's not try and touch it up more because it'll probably make it worse. Um, let's go in the darker stuff here. Let's take that in there. Oh. Mm, this little line here, this bit right in the corner just find it really, really difficult to do right. I mean, I used the golds and the yellows from the, the Lethal Cosmetics, but they do, there is a gold in the Androgyny palette, which I'm using just now called Frosting. It was just because I went in with the matte yellow first and I, that I didn't have anything as light as that in the androgyny palette. <clears throat> it's looking not too bad. Not too horrific. Um, it's a bit, a bit patchy though. I'm not happy with the smoothness of this and it's not the eyeshadow primer because I only put that on the, my lid just here I didn't put it on the upper lid anywhere so it's it's if anything it's probably lack of eyeshadow primer that's doing it Mascara.
Yeah, nearly. someone is listening to me when I'm making a video, which is quite annoying because I live with somebody else. And that is going to have to do, because we have an appointment to make. Um, so I'm going to have to live with this as is. I'll take a photograph for my Instagram that will actually show you what it really looks like. Bye.